here we are with overload season 4 episode 12 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode <laughs> Good Neo. <laughs> yeah, Alberto's pissed. Oh. Fighting dirty, exploiting the kindness of the enemy. Okay. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, I guess. True. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Will we see computers against brain? <laughs> Acting as a villain. <clears throat> Ulbert? Who's Ulbert? One of the supreme beings? He said Ulbert, right? I didn't mess read that, right? <clears throat> I think I've never heard the name before. Maybe? Once? I don't know. Either I never heard the name or maybe they mentioned him like one time. <clears throat> I mean, there are 41 supreme beings, right? I, I guess without irons it's 40. Um, and we heard only a few names of them, right? Bukubuku Chagama. Pororoncino and some others. Hero Sun, Touch Me. Or not Hero Sun, but Hero Hero, I guess it was. <clears throat> so there are still a lot of supreme beings 
that we've never heard of, I think. No brain. But I guess she doesn't really care, right? Does she care? Or is it just an act? <clears throat> He's like, she smiled at me, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> he serves tea. <laughs> mhm mm Do they want to spy around? Okay, or that. <laughs> Probably all went running already, yeah. Death. <laughs> what? 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 What is... What is going on? Why? What? 
What the fuck? And what is the reason? Also, oh, they want. Okay, so they want to keep her from staying behind. All right. All right, okay. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Mm-hmm. He realizes it immediately and he smells it. Good nose. I mean it wasn't that much blood and he can still smell it, right? Man, this was crazy. <laughs> I mean, you will never reach him. <laughs> And I mean, I guess she doesn't care, right? <laughs> because at, at the end of the day, I think she's safe, right? Because I guess Eins won't kill her. Dude, imagine how crazy it would be if he finds out that Sebas, Sebas is... is basically the butler of Eins. <laughs> I guess not anymore really, right? But imagine he finds out. Ooh, that would be crazy. What's she doing? <laughs> I mean... I wouldn't... I, w I wouldn't doubt it that she maybe could become a good fighter if she trains. <laughs> 
because she's so twisted, I I guess she could get pretty good with with some training. I guess everything is frozen. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just walking casually. Waltz? What a waltz. <clears throat> what a waltz, right? <laughs> Is someone trying to attack? Come on, attack. <laughs> oh, what a fucking T Rex. Wow. They pass out from the scream of it. You wait here. <laughs> God damn. No eating, squishing. <laughs> oh, I love to see this. I guess most people in this city are gone anyway, right? You don't. Won't help. Oh, there are some still around, I guess. Most of them, okay. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. There he is already. Look, you just. <laughs> Let's go. Is he freezing everyone inside the buildings? Because you see the frost, the frost wave of his presence is coming. I wonder if it just freezes the outside or also the inside. That would be brutal if it freezes the inside. Some potions, some booster. Won't help. <laughs> that does nothing. Let me fight him. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> He split a lizard man in half with this blade. What's gonna happen? Will he split bla brain? I wonder if brain will... I, I mean... <clears throat> if Cocutus follows Ayn's order, brain is dead. Or not, then maybe brain will survive. <laughs> you You can't. You can't even scratch him. Is this how he dies? Oh, he goes all out. It's 
still won't do anything. True nail clipper. <laughs> Is his arm up gone? No. But he got slashed. <clears throat> he wouldn't join, I guess. And in the back it goes. Okay, so they keep him alive, I guess. I mean, that was to be expected, right? That there won't be an epic battle. That's just how it is. <clears throat> Didn't stood a chance. And he takes the other way. Goes around him. I guess to not freeze him to death or something with his aura, maybe. Because the aura didn't touch him yet. Hmm. Or maybe just as for respect. Oh, I wonder what they do with him. I mean, maybe they just leave him there and eventually he will just <clears throat> unfreeze. And then maybe he's good to go. Someone can pick him up and heal him or something. Or maybe they will kill him later. Or, I don't know. Maybe they bring him to Nazarick and do some shit. I guess there's no after credit scene. Yep. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, but... Yeah, I mean, um, I have to say, overall, pretty uneventful, right? We had the beginning, well, was interesting, that Ainz is basically like, okay, we don't know everything about Riku, which is like the dragon thingy armor. Um, so we have to fight against him again and lose again so that we get more information. So, better safe than sorry, basically. Obviously, Alberto is pissed about it. That um, Pandora's actor kneeled, basically, in front of him, right? In... With Ainz's look, right? And... I mean, after that, we had the whole scene with Princess Renna and Luckius and all that stuff. And that's the part that I feel like is super uneventful, right? Because... <coughs> We had again the scene with the orphanage, right? Which is like, yeah, I mean, we get it, right? Nothing special. And then we had the whole scene with Luckius, right? Where it's just like, yeah, here, yeah, we want to drink some tea. And we get some new tea and sweets and all that stuff. And all we basically got out of it is that they suddenly started to attack Luckius to charm her so that they can just get her out of the kingdom and because she wouldn't go if she wouldn't be charmed and would get removed from the kingdom by force right so they had to charm her to get her out of there otherwise she would have stayed behind and would die so long scene to establish basically just that um so yeah i mean when, when I was watching it, I mean, there were some funny moments and all that stuff, right? But only after, like, the scene was over and now having some time to think about it, I truly realized that it was such a long scene for barely, or for barely, yeah, for barely anything, right? So, <laughs> okay. Um, and then the whole thing with the sword, I, I wonder what, maybe <clears throat> the whole sword thing with Renna was maybe because... Of Eins, 
because he mentioned maybe that sword and so she should check it out or something or maybe that's why she checked it out because she heard about the sword that it could be dangerous against eyes or something hmm. otherwise why would she do it just for fun i doubt it must be something behind that <clears throat> and then yeah aura comes in with her pets and then we have brain facing for cutis which it's pretty much what i expected right he buffs he drinks some po uh, potions that make him stronger he buffs up again he tries to use his special move again and yeah it does nothing and then he just gets destroyed obviously i mean i didn't expect it a big fight i that's this is exactly what i thought would happen and obviously it happens um so yeah i mean <clears throat> who can truly be a threat in this world right i mean the whole adamantites not really i mean albedo had no issue with the with azur or whatever his name is the the one from the red drops uh, albedo had like no issue with him really um he wasn't the threat um <clears throat> brain nothing gazif nothing clementine which is also like adamantite level nothing blue rose nothing um i mean evil eye who's the strongest in blue rose couldn't even defeat demiurge <laughs> so yeah so and i mean <clears throat> technically i guess the dragon I, I forgot his name let's say riku um i mean they just did a test fight against him right nothing serious and I guess if they would fight him for real, I guess he wouldn't stand a chance. Heinz has so much stuff he can use, his super tier magic and everything. I guess Heinz could defeat him pretty easily, I would imagine. So, yeah, I mean, the Black Scripture. The only. I mean, the. Chaltia fought against the Black Scripture, right? When she got. Um, brainwashed right because they use a world tier item on her or something um i'm pretty sure Chaltia could have wiped wiped them all out the only the, the, the only reason why she didn't is because she got brainwashed and then she stood there and in the meantime they just ran away because she killed already one uh, like heavily wounded one and then afterwards the person died um so yeah <laughs> If they would have attacked and fought, she would have wiped them all out, I guess. The dragon also attacked Chaltia. Didn't came out unscathed. Um, he had like a hole in his armor, which we saw, I think. Um, so yeah, who could be a threat? Um, I would say if they would fight for real, no one. I, I would guess, unless somewhere out of nowhere comes some big super duper force i mean even the strongest entity in the whole empire the warrior king no chance with eins fighting with a handicap <laughs> so yeah we will see next episode what could happen i mean they still uh aura is going to the mage guild um, to get stuff I guess and Cocutus is making his way to the kingdom so I guess it maybe ends with the kingdom falling I guess so I don't know what to expect really like how it could turn out who will die who will survive I mean obviously everyone from another wreck will survive but like king wise will they kill the king will he survive will he go away like run away or whatever will the kingdom be in flames at the end of the episode or something or in the middle of the episode i don't know what to expect how it will turn out um so yeah will be interesting i guess if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's uh, thanks for watching <laughs> and the next time bye bye